There we go. And this should be an easy one. We're playing against a ranked one dude, so. Yeah. 550 total. Here we go. So let's start off with any of our early game. Let's try to mulligan down to it. Uh, a sunflower would be good. I think I'm going to get rid of the spineapple. Okay, that's fine. We we could do the mixed nut play, which uh, could be really, really good. So, yikes. I think we'll just take the four damage, and we'll play. Uh, we'll play this. Getting ready for turn three with the mixed nuts. Mixed nuts is a really good play if you can get pull it off. Yeah, I know. Haven't in the Diamond League itself. Haven't really gotten much of anything. Uh, we'll put this here. Too bad we didn't keep that spine apple. So we'll mix nuts somewhere, probably behind one of these walnuts. Uh, this little thing's doing one damage now. What is he even <laughs> playing into the gravestone play? Okay. So that'll end up doing another four uh, when it pops out. That's one of the tricks with the tennis champ. Putting in the gravestones, really good. Disco, so he's just trying to rush us down. We're gonna have to do something about that eventually. I think in the meantime we'll start hitting him in the face. So he'll be hitting us for another seven, we'll be down to nine. I wonder if I should be blocking this damage. Who knows? It's a lot of damage coming in, but we have a lot of healing potential and blocking potential with Wall Knight. Turn four. What do we even do here? We probably are going to move over the Walnut, one of the Walnuts over to lane one and put a Pistachio behind it. That's probably what we're going to do. What is he planning on doing this turn with three brains? I don't even know. So we'll move this over. Oh wow, he just burns a headstone carver just like that. Come on, man. So I guess the right play here is to power flower in lane four. And we'll start getting a little healing. Oh wow, kind of intense. Uh, we're definitely not playing that this turn. That will come in handy eventually to you know prevent lethal and whatnot. Wow. All right, so we'll get the healing going. This is a good play, and we'll be able to pop in poppies next turn, which will... <laughs> The idea against uh, this particular opponent, Infinity, is you just clog your lanes, and we're doing that extremely well. Uh, when we do the Popping Poppies next turn, the, all, every single lane will be double clogged, every single ground lane, that is. So his only in will be through the water lane, and we do have a squash in hand, which is really good. Oh, yes. Oh, is that even better? I think the Smackadamia is going to be better here. Yeah, it will. Smackadamia and Morning Glory. You betcha. Oh, so we're going to clog every single lane here majorly. And this Morning Glory is going to be a 3-3 also. So it's a really good play. And we'll just come in eventually with this. Uh... <laughs> this guy is in a world of pain. Look at this. This is what Wild Knight can do. He was trying to rush us down and didn't get quite fast enough. Now we're going to give extra two health to all of our nuts, which will all survive. And this is just a world of pain here. One damage isn't going to help anywhere, actually. <laughs> and we're healing in the meantime. We'll heal for two at the end of this turn because we have Power Flower plus Morning Glory is another flower. He did it to face. <laughs> yeah, that's his only option is doing a whole bunch of maybe Plumber Smashes to face. Four Plumber Smashes, but it doesn't look like he's actually... He's probably not going to score another point of damage this entire game unless he plumber, you know, plumbers us to face. Or something like that. Nutty. A little bit naughty. And he's just desperation. That would have been good this turn, actually, for him. Uh, if he would have been able to play that before all of his minions died. But it's... Come on, man. <laughs> we can't even make a play. We'll just squash something, I guess, here. So sad. So... 
so sad. Is he gonna chickening here? Chickening's really not gonna help him. He'll do one damage with that little... Uh, question is, what do we... What do we squash? We could squash nothing. In fact, we probably have lethal here. I think we'll squash this just to make more lethal more possible. Is there anything that could pop out of that gravestone that would be too scary? If he would, if it would be a bomb imp and he would bounce the mix nut, he still doesn't have. Uh, I'll do this just in case. Who cares? It'll draw an extra card. <laughs> Got this guy. Got this guy. <laughs> Poor infinity. Look at this board. I'm taking a screenshot. This is how you beat Infinity with Wall Knight. When I was playing Infinity, a really aggro Infinity Dex, the hardest matchup by far was Wall Knight. Uh, because of this ability that he has just to clog up all the lanes. So, Power Flower victory. Oh, yes. That's the way it's done. Oh. Oh, yeah. A little confused. Here we go. Z mech. When you're Wall Knight, you're not really afraid of stuff, you know. Uh, there's the mirror nut. Uh, we'll get rid of that. I guess this is okay. We do have our aquatic shroom. I, I don't think. Uh, he has anything that can go in the water lane. The only thing that Zima can possibly end up in the water lane, he can't play anything in the water lane. He doesn't have any, per se, aquatic minions. The only thing he does have is the... Wow, he just does six damage to us. Okay, that's alright. The only thing he does have... And <laughs> we charged for one. Ouch. Uh, he has the Swabby that can launch a swab uh, an aquatic Swabby into the water lane. That's the only thing he has. So this mushroom should actually do pretty well. And eventually, maybe we'll, uh... What is that? It's probably a sumo. Oh, well. No, deal on damage. Kind of go well. If it was a sumo, actually, the pis Pismachio would have been better. Pismachio, yeah. Oh, well. Spineapple. Not what we need right now. So we could actually mirror nut in front of that, um, in front of the flag zombie eventually, which could be really, really deadly. So we'll just do this for now. Newspaper, okay. So we could have a really good mirror nut play here, and maybe even spineapple it up. Just gotta dodge. Uh, that's not so bad. He'll be doing four and four. We'll probably block at some point here. So I, I still think this is the best play. Uh, this will be doing a lot of damage. Here we go. <laughs> that little flag zombie is just a farm. So unless he can, you know, monster mash or somehow boost the attack of that flag zombie, it's gonna be hurting him a lot more than us. Uh, I think a nut is really good here, actually. We'll nut here. And we'll draw a card. Uh, we'll be able to put our power flower uh, behind that. So that's two damage to phase. Here's another two damage. We're really going to be dishing it out in doses of two damage at a time. Another Pismachio. So we could... We could uh, Pismachio and... Spineapple this turn. What is he doing? Does he have a... Oh man, I hope he doesn't have a weed spray. That would be terrible. That would be really bad. And we have nothing that we can do to prevent that, so... What is he going to do on turn 5? I don't even know. We are really down a lot of health right now. I guess we'll do this. Uh, we're going to have to heal ourselves eventually. Wow, he totally passed turn five. What is going on? 
So he's going to block. We're going to do two more damage to him, mirror nut wise. Well, that's in the box. I'm really happy he used his power up. Extra three attack. Good play. Good play. So I believe the correct play here is Pismachio, uh, Knight, and Heal. I believe that is correct. Wow, that is really scary. We got to push for lethal here. Uh, three and four definitely does it. Uh, healing is fine, but I guess we'll do this. Yeah. And we'll heal, so the uh, mirror nut will survive, and we'll be doing tons of damage right now. This should this this should be lethal. I mean, we're gonna be hitting him for five right off the bat over there in lane one, and then we're gonna have three more. Sh we'll have two more shots at doing two damage to face. Yeah, so this should be lethal here, as long as he doesn't block this initial shot. No, he's not gonna block it. So I think we got him. There's one damage. This will be two to face. This will proc his block. No, it didn't. Okay, this will proc his block. And the Mirror Nut victory. This is how it's done. So unless he can somehow take care of that, that's going to be lethal. Oh, yes. <laughs> Mirror Nut's still the best card in the game. That's why they made the Rank 50 logo. They made it the Mirror Nut. Crazy. Wow. Wall Knight getting it done. There's a lot of things that have team up in this deck. Here we go. We'll get rid of the laser beam. This is a pretty good curve. Yep, I'll keep it. A lot of nuts. Got a mirror nut. All right, this walnut deck is, you know, it's viable. It's happening. So we'll walnut to smash you somewhere else. Uh, is there any reason not to do this in lane one? Guess not. Then we'll mix nuts, then we'll mirror nut, I guess. The mirror nut's gonna do a lot of heat right now in this game. We do have a lot of late game, but we really haven't been needing it in the stack. There's the potato mine. Might come in handy. This is a root plant. Hey, what's up, Zombie Slayer? What's up, guys? Uh, I guess we'll do this. Headstone Carver, kind of a dangerous card. Pretty good matchup there. And he didn't have another play, okay. Turn three. Looks like it's going to be mixed nuts. Couldn't imagine anything else. What is that? So, it could be a lot of things. I'm not even going to start thinking of uh, what it could be. He has so many two and three drops, gravestones. Wow! Wasn't expecting that one. So that'll be a four. Hopefully, oh no, that could really go to lane, to lane one and really take out our, our mixed nuts. That's pretty bad. Maybe he wants that to survive. Wow, so that's strike through, so that'll actually take out the mixed nuts. It's a pretty good trade. Not bad. But, you know, his field is cleared, and we have a lot of stuff we can do. I don't know if we'll necessarily uh, mirror nut yet. We'll probably do that a little bit later. Yeah, so we'll just do this now. This is a good play. Having the boomerang protected like that is so good. It's strike through. It's really, you know really hard to take care of and he had that one good play with the line dancer but he totally skipped turn four what's going on what is up so we could also protect the next bloom ring with this potato mine the potato mine is really good for protection uh, I think that's a little too scary we're gonna smash that 
Yes. Smashy, smashy. Squashy, squashy. Uh. Yes, absolutely draw a card. It's not good enough if it doesn't draw a card. It does have draw a card. Doesn't it? Yeah. Your hero can't be hurt this turn. Draw a card. And it definitely... All, not all special abilities. Some special abilities are really, really good. Eureka! Um... <laughs> Whatever, man. Yeah, we draw a card. They... Some of the, It depends which power. You got, really? Good for you, Toxic. What is this? Come on. Portal Zombie? What is going on here? Hopefully it won't be anything too scary. I think we'll just take it out. Oh no, that doesn't have team up. Okay, we'll do this. Take it out this way. Die. Good old potato mine. Sweet potato mine. Was that a chicken that he threw? A rubber chicken? What's in the box? What is this? What? Undying Pharaoh? Why does he get a legendary out of Portal Zombie? Come on. Now we have to kill this thing. Before we have lethal. What? What is happening? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> cool. Congrats, Corntopia. He's a really hard... He's a 10-drop. He's a really, really hard uh, card to play. If you actually want to see the Corntopia, check out my last uh, Brain Swarm video. That would be Brain Swarm 3. I played against an opponent uh, that played Corntopia successfully. And you should just look at what his deck was besides Corntopia. It was just uh, full of removal. And it seemed ridiculous at first, but it actually, he actually pulled it off. So uh, We're going to have to take that thing out with Laser Beam next turn. Uh, meantime, we'll just do this, I guess. This is pretty crazy. What is even happening here? Yeah, we'll keep the board control. That Undying Fair was going to save him this turn. We might have lethal. Might have had lethal. Want to be heroes pretty good. <laughs> Plank Walker. What is that? The deadly. Yikes. Yikes on bikes. Could this guy possibly come back into this game? Come on! How is this happening? Portal Zombie? I shouldn't even I should have just left that thing alone. The portal zombie's not as bad as this undying pharaoh. Man! I can't even kill him now. What? Wow, this guy literally won this game. Because of this undying pharaoh. What the heck is going on? What's in the box? It's crazy. Do you want to keep the laser beam up? Guess we'll just do that. And he's just going to keep bonus attacking with this deadly... Come on! Dude, we have no removal in this deck. This guy's going to beat us. How did he get from a portal zap? He got an undying pharaoh. How great is this guy? 
Uh, we're actually protected this turn. What is going on? <laughs> this is so crazy. This is the best comeback I've ever seen in my life. What is happening? <laughs> we totally protected this turn, but... <laughs> it's not fair. No more bonus attacks. Bonus attacks are getting annoying. Guess we'll sacrifice our mirror nut for the cause. He's doing a... Uh, what is he doing? 11 damage to us this turn? Two, tr two tricks and he's got us. Doesn't matter what they are. <laughs> Nothing. Hey, maybe we'll pull off the, the victory here. How did he pass that turn? I don't understand. We did heal. A little bit. I wonder if the strike through will kill him also. Probably not. So, maybe we might win next turn though with our Bloomerang. If he doesn't have some way of clearing one of these cards. If he has a bonus attack, though, he's used a lot of them already. Okay. What's in the box? What is in the box? Now we're also going to block his next shot, so... I actually think we're going to win here still. What is that going to be? It doesn't... Tombstone? We... So, does this strike through actually kill him? It probably doesn't. Let's see if it does. No. So, Bloomerang should have it. Come on, Blue Marine. Wonder what's in the box for him. This is interesting. In case he can take care of something, I wonder if I should play this in the water lane or in this lane. Because he'll probably will probably block one of his shots this turn. Uh, most likely. I think this is the best play in case that can somehow take care of the bloom. What could it possibly be, though, that would take out the bloom ring? Does he have anything? Let's pull out our gravestone chart here. No, I guess this is the right play. I don't think he has anything. Bonus attack. Not gonna help. We got him. Unless he has a lot of extra bonus attacks in his hand. He has a full hand, a hand full of cards. Does he have a bonus attack? Space Cadet. Not going to do it. I think the comeback's real for us. We won! We actually won the game! Oh, this is the cover of the Wall Knight video. Oh, that was so good. <laughs> we actually won that game. The Undying Fear. Oh, he made such a drastic comeback there. We just stuck it out barely to the end. Oh, sacrificing that mirror nut. That was a good play. Okay, we'll get rid of our late game. Mixed nuts is good. Uh, I don't think we need two potato mines here. Wow, juggernaut's a really good pickup. This is a fine, fine, fine curve. So we'll probably play the potato mine on one and just stick the um, stick the dude behind it. Wow, is it worth doing this here? I think it actually is. Uh, we don't want this thing getting out of control. Is it worth it? Should we punish him for playing the dry uh, the dry mini ninja? Then we'll, we'll try to get it next turn. It, it's kind of too good with the um, with the mixed nut play on turn three that. We'll take the four damage and maybe if another five next turn. No punish. This lane will be severely clogged. So we'll try to juggernaut here. Hopefully he'll 
No, he didn't. Okay, he's probably just gonna smoke bomb this somewhere. But we're still, you know... Gravestoning it. Really? That's all he had, huh? Alright, I'm really happy I didn't waste the... Oh, he's killing that? No! That's for my mixed nuts! What are you doing? Oh, well. Need a walnut. Oh, potato mine. That's fine. Uh, I think we will burn the potato mine here. We'll be able to use the mixed nuts at some point a little bit later. So everything of his dies basically for free here. He, yeah, he will hit us for two with that hot dog in, but that'll die. Uh, he does zero damage to the juggernaut that's armored. And we're just clogging lanes right now, which is really good. We did kind of use our aquatic up in the ground lane, but it was worth it. Oh, wow. Mirror nut. So we can mirror nut somewhere, and we'll be able to mix nuts next turn. I think it's worth it. Uh, yes. Uh, other plays to heal here. No, healing definitely does nothing. So he's wasting all of his cards here also. I mean, he wastes the fishy imp trying to take out a juggernaut. I totally disagree with that play. If you're infinity, you got to rush him down. And he also you fronted us with the hot dog zombie. This guy doesn't know how to play. <laughs> Sorry, man. Oh, yes. Oh, so good. So good. The block is real. We have a great... Wow! Look at all these mixed nuts now. We'll be able to play one this turn and next turn, and we got a great turn five play. Oh, yes. That's fine. We'll just take this thing out. Um, and we'll do... I guess this. Doesn't really matter. We have a heal in hand, so letting the um, letting the mirror not kind of stand dry like that is okay. And we are just gonna slowly wear this dude down. Oh yes. So that's the play. Swashbuckle, not bad. Chickens. What? That's not gonna do. That's just gonna do six damage to his face. Come on, man. What are you doing? Two, four, six. He's at eight health. Wow, and that doesn't charge his block meter. That's crazy. Oh wow, he took that out. Pretty good. Got my laser beam. Five more to face. We're actually down to five. Got to be really careful here. So we'll just play everything this turn, and we'll heal. Yeah, that's the way to go. The healing is real. <laughs> Why would he swashbuckle there, dude? In the empty lane, dude. Uh, auto build? Yeah, the auto build is terrible. This game, the automated game, does not know how to make decks. It's ter It's really bad. Here we go. I have seen some some insights, maybe from the auto build, so you can just try it out to see what they do, and then try to figure out what they're doing. But uh, you build your decks yourself. Learn how to build a deck and build it. You'll be better than any automated computer system.